What is going on you guys? My name is Cameron and what I have for you guys today is a very helpful video. I don't really do too many helpful videos, but this one is for anybody that's an Android user that is having issues with installing applications because of very little room that they have on these Android phones. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I got a brand new phone the other day. <laughs> the camera's picking up my, my face right there. Look at my beautiful face. But anyways, um, I got a new phone. Uh, I switched carriers from Verizon to Metro PCS. Uh, I got a new phone with the new company and all that. Uh, things are going great. It's just that the phone itself has such small storage inside that I needed to get my apps to install on my 32 gigabyte SD card that I have installed inside the phone. Um, so after some much research, I found an article that literally just walked me through it and I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to do it if you have any Android to phone Android phone that supports an internal SD card that you can remove and stuff like that so um, without further ado I want to get you guys into it and show you guys first of all what your phone will actually look like um, like what I mean by not being able to install apps directly to the SD card and not being able to move apps, certain apps to the SD card. So as you can see, like if I were to go to Clash, Clash of Clans, you can see it's already installed on my SD card. Um, I can move it to my phone and you'll see once it moves, once it's done moving, once it's done moving, you'll see it says has the option to move to SD card. I can move it back to my SD card, no problem. Let that move again, and I'll show you an app that doesn't allow you to move to the SD card. Okay, well, anyways, I know it's going to install move to the SD card because it always does. Um, for example, Flappy Bird doesn't allow you to move to the SD card that's grayed out. You can see it doesn't change or anything like that. I'm going to help you guys get that option to where it will allow you to move any application on your phone to the SD card. So, for example, I can scroll all the way down. I believe, was I funny one that didn't allow it? No, that one allows it. Um, Tumblr? Yeah, Tumblr's one that doesn't allow you to move to the SD card either. So... Um, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go open up your app drawer, go to your settings, go all the way down and see if you have the option called developer options. If not, you're simply just going to want to go to about phone, scroll down to software information and just tap the software version a few times. It'll give you a little model or a little message at the bottom that says like tap three more times to become a developer. Um, I'm sorry, it's the build number, not the software version. You'll see that that message pops up saying, no need, you already are a developer. You will get a message saying, tap this many times to become a developer, and then you'll get the developer option all the way back here. So go into the developer options, make sure that it is turned on right there. Make sure that's turned on, scroll down, and select USB debugging. I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on. You'll select OK. And then you're going to want to plug in your phone. Once you plug in your phone, as you can see, mine plugs in at the bottom. It buzzes. It tells me it's plugged in. Close out of that. You'll see at the top, well, when I scroll down the menu, it says USB debugging connected. Touch to disable USB debugging. Do not touch it. Leave it plugged in. Leave the USB connected via media sync. And then just clear all the rest of your things. So then we're going to move over to the computer and I will show you the rest of the um, options or steps that you have to do to do this. All right. All right. Now that I'm at my computer, you can see I'm on my desktop now. I'm not going to record it with my potato of a camera. Um, I'm going to actually record it with my recording software. Um, you'll get this pop up the autoplay. You just close that out and ignore it. You're going to want to go to the first link in the description and download the Java SE Development Kit 8. Um, you're going to want to come down here, accept, download the um, 8U45 um, based on your Windows operating system or your Mac OS and stuff like that. Run that. And then you're going to want to come here to the second link in the description and download your SD, the SDK tools only for your Android device. Um, I downloaded and installed both of these already, as you can see. I have that one, 
and have the Java one. So once those are installed, you're going to get them installed. You're going to see them down here, Android Studio, Java Mission Controller, stuff like that. And you'll see them installed here. You don't have to do anything with the Java development kit, nothing with the Java or the Android Studio, but you're going to want to expand this, right click on the SDK manager, or I'm sorry, you're going to want to run the SDK manager first. Once this opens, you'll see these two, the Java SDK tools and the Java SDK platform tools. You're going to check both of those and click install. Only install those two. Make sure nothing else is checked nothing else in this entire thing. Make sure it only says install two packages, the SDK tools and the SDK platform tools, and then you wanna close it out. Then what you're gonna to to do is go back to your start menu, click all programs, open the SDK tools folder again, and right click on the SDK manager, open file location, and it's gonna take you to where you installed the file, or the, the program. Open your platform tools, and then you're gonna to want to shift and right click inside the folder and select open command window here. The next thing you're going to want to do is type this exactly. You're going to type adb devices and then hit enter. You're going to see that your device is listed and is attached, list of devices attached, LG, MS, that's my phone and it's listed as a device. If it says unauthorized, simply unplug your phone and plug it back in. Let the drivers install that are related to your phone. Once that, once you see that your device is listed, you're going to want to type ADB space shell space PM space set dash install dash location space two. Hit enter. It's going to change the install location to your external storage device. Zero is the default, meaning it installs to whatever is preferred um, or whatever the app itself recommends. Most, excuse me, most apps recommend that you install it to the internal storage, but we're just changing it to two, which is the external if you set it to one, it'll always install every single app to the internal storage on your phone. So once that's done, you can simply just close that out, close out the, the web browser or the browser window, and then uh, you're done. You'll see once I move back over to my phone, what all has changed. All right, now that we have everything done on the computer, you can simply unplug Oops. <laughs> you can simply unplug your phone. As you can see, I have it mounted on a book for some reason because I couldn't get it at the right height. Um, unplug your phone from your computer and then simply go unlock it. Go to your app, go to your settings. Go to all the way up to apps. And then you'll see, remember Flappy Bird wouldn't move last time. It now has moved to SD card. You can now move all your apps to your SD card as well as any apps from the Google Play Store will automatically install to your, um, uh, your SD card as well. So let me just get find an app real quick just that isn't stupid. See Smove, just will install that. Accept. It's going to download and it's going to install right to the SD card. Now that's done. Simply go to apps, go to settings so we can be ready for it. Three seconds left, one second left. Bam, done. You'll see once you go into apps, once it fully installs. Whoops, I, went, I got a little antsy there. Haha. <laughs> Successfully installed, okay, go to your app drawer, go to your settings, go to apps, scroll down, you'll see Smove listed in here, and you'll see you'll be able to move it to the SD card as well. So once all your apps are installed, you can move every single app to the SD card, and uh, it's really going to save you a lot of space on your internal storage, and um, yeah, so...
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, um, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it's a commentary. All right. Thanks. Bye.